Hello, we're going to try to quickly run through what not to do uh, when you're three seconds a lap slower than the race leader. Here are my race laps. Uh, pretty good grouping. Uh, I've been practicing a lot to get all my laps within a second. Uh, did pretty good. And then we roll down, and we find that for four whole laps here, I was off by uh, approximately two seconds, as much as three seconds. So. Let's go ahead and watch what happens here. Uh, the car in front of me, Avery, as you can see, uh, is not very consistent. He's running laps in the 105, 106, 101, 111, 104, 105. Yeah, all of his laps are all over the place. And uh, first, this is me approaching him. Yes, this is me approaching him, uh, which is important to do when coming up on someone who is a lap down to kind of get a gauge of how consistent they're going to be and um, how accurate they are in placing the car. So here's that analysis. He misses this apex by half the track. Misses this apex by at least four or five or six feet. Closer to this one, it's still off by three to five feet. And then, for the first time, I'm in like a range that seems like I would be getting a draft rather reasonably. He pulls out to break the draft, even though I'm a, I legitimately caught him on track. It wasn't like he went in for a tow and was a fast driver. Uh, I didn't really know that at the time, but I could tell from how much he was missing apexes that it was entirely possible that I had legitimately caught him, um, even though it's a rather short track. So he pulls out to break the drag, uh, break the draft there. Misses an apex by five or six feet again. More, probably ten. Misses another apex. So so far he's missed significantly more than he's hit. So I'm trying my best not to get taken out of the race lead here. I have a good solid run on him, so I figure this is my shot, right? So I pull over, he's clearly got a blue flag, and there's blocking attempt number one. So he could let me by here, and this would all be avoided. But he pulls to his right and blocks me, and I have to get out of it or I would hit him. Okay. Um, I did not feel at this point like I was guaranteed. In fact, I'm not even sure that there was room on the right um, at the point at which he moves over to block. I don't think I could have gotten by him on the right. So then he miss proceeds to miss his apex from the block. So there's clear blocking attempt number one, maybe number two, if you have the, the um, draft break on the front straight, the last lap, I consider blocking. So we'll call that number two. And now I have to catch him again. He did almost hit that apex. And he breaks the draft again. And I can chase him all over, but I'm so much faster than it. And now he's swerving around the track again. I figure he's going to let me by here because he's so far off line. And I just don't trust him to make any move. I just can't tell where he's going. Um, I figure he might let me through there. He's swerving, sliding. So once again, I've had to slow down significantly. So I let this car through. And I figure maybe they'll just take each other out. He misses an apex by half the track again. And he slows to let him by. And I figure, all right, this is it. I'm going to get on the straight and drive right by him. And I don't even know what that is. <laughs> so this is my first lap over 101. This is an apex again. Nowhere near the correct spot for turn in, so I have a decent run on him here. And a little bit of draft. And so I close up a couple tenths probably. 
This is an apex by half the track. He's just consistently that far off there. And this is about as close as I'm comfortable getting to him because he's all over the track every time. Car off. He swerves. Goes in the dirt. I felt I had to lift. I maybe could have stayed in it there and trusted that that car was going to go off. But again, I'm sitting in the race lead here, probably six seconds up on the guy behind me. And I was being careful. I didn't want to throw it away. So that was this lap. Um, part of probably a second there was due to the guy that spun in front of me. And he spins. So let's go back for one.